Hi, this is Megan Hoff from Gathering Light Photography, and I'm here to bring you some photography business wisdom. I'm going to be doing a several part series on going through everything you need to know about shooting the wedding day step by step. And today I'm bringing you part one of the wedding day step by step. So part one, the beginning of the wedding day are those getting ready shots. These are the photos of the bride getting her dress on, her shoes on, the groomsmen um, sharing a laugh or maybe a sip out of a uh, whiskey bottle or something. All of those pre-ceremony, pre-wedding moments were out showing all the anticipation and the excitement um, going into the wedding day. These are a lot of people's favorite shots, but they all um, come with challenges. And um, these are the things I see as the main challenges in the getting ready shots. The lighting can be really difficult. You may be in a church basement or in, um, as I was recently, a very orange hotel room with um, tiny, tiny windows and um, that was difficult, difficult lighting. Oftentimes there's also a mess, right? Everyone, you have a bunch of girls getting dressed or guys have been hanging out all day eating pizza. Um, so that's another challenge. And then finally there's the stress and the timing, which can be um, issues that are that can be very challenging as you're trying to take pictures. But let's go through how to go around this. Um, when talking about the lighting, it's very easy um, for these getting ready pictures to use window light or silhouettes or simply change the location of where things are happening so that the lighting's a little bit better. And when I say change location, I don't mean that you take the bride who's getting ready in a bedroom and you make her go stand out in a field. What I mean simply is that, for example, in this picture, the wedding dress was originally hanging um, inside the bathroom. Well, obviously I don't want to take a picture of the bathroom, but I hung it in front of this window and um, it makes a very soft, lovely um, light coming from behind the dress. And then when the dad came into the room to see the bride and saw the wedding dress hanging there, um, it was an easy way to get a really special moment simply because I changed the location. So think about the lighting and think about um, how you can improve the lighting. Another example in this picture is that I turned off all the overhead lights and just let the light from the window shine in. Um, that can be a really big problem in, um, again, church basements that might have fluorescent overhead lighting or in um, a hotel room where you have those really dim, um, very orangey lights and that can cause shadows on people's faces. So turn off the overhead lights, use the window light. Um, you can do silhouettes of people inside the window and also think about the location of where you're putting things in the room. Next is simply clean up the mess. Um, no one's going to think anything of it if you just nicely say, oh, do you mind? I'm going to move the things off the bed here. If anyone's looking for anything, I put it over here in this corner. I say that um, every single time I'm shooting and getting ready pictures. I move people's things around and then I place things very intentionally. For example, um, I moved this mirror slightly because you can see the light is coming in from the window and hitting the bride as she is, um, I think she's putting on her shoes or her garter here or something. So I knew that I could get a nice reflection of her in pretty light. So I'm placing um, different objects or things very intentionally. You might also um, put the bouquet in a certain place and then shoot a shot that has the bouquet in the foreground and maybe the dress in the background or um, people getting ready in the background. So it's okay to move things around. Just let people know and clean up the mess. <laughs> Next, you want to um, be able to deal with the stress, right? Be a calming presence there. Um, don't come in and say, oh my gosh, we, we've got to start taking pictures in like five minutes, so can you really hurry up? Oh, I hope we have enough time. No, 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 no. You <laughs> are there to make people feel comfortable. Um, you want to tell them, listen, if we start 
10, 15 minutes after we said we would, we're going to be fine because of X, Y, Z. You're going to be informed and share that information with them. You're going to let them know that everything's fine. We're getting beautiful pictures and um, there's nothing to worry about. So whether there is something to worry about or not, you're not going to share that <laughs> with the possibly stressed out um, bride or mother of the bride. And um, your calming presence will help ease the stress and just allow things to happen that you'll be able to photograph. And finally, you want to know and be conscious of the timing of things. You want to get pictures of both the bride and groom in this process. Now, oftentimes the groom will not want, you know, pictures of him actually getting his clothes on, <laughs> as opposed to the bride where they want pictures of getting their dress on. But you want to make sure you get at least some pre-pictures of the groom um, getting his boutonniere on or, you know, adjusting his tie, hanging out with his friends and groomsmen. If you have an assistant, this is a great time to split up. Um, I always work with a second shooter and my second shooter goes with the groom. Um, if you don't have a second shooter, you just need to schedule the timing of this and coordinate this with the bride and groom beforehand. Say, okay, I'm going to come and take some pictures of the groom for these 15 minutes, um, so don't put your tie on yet or your boutonniere on yet, and I will be there. And then you tell the bride, don't put your dress on while I'm gone, I'll be right back. You know, something like that, and coordinate and schedule it. And you'll get all those shots that you need. So I hope that was helpful. And um, if you want more free tips and training for your wedding photography business, go to photobiz-secrets.com. And again, I'm Megan Hoff from Gathering Light Photography, and I hope you have a wonderful day.